Vanguard, Normandy 1944 is a multiplayer World War II first-person shooter with a heavy focus on teamwork and tactical infantry combat. Set during the events of D-Day, take and hold crucial objectives with your squad as part of the elite sixth airborne, or hold the line as the fierce German Wehrmacht over these carefully recreated battlefields. From the heavily fortified Merville Battery to the rolling hills and hedgerows outside Khan, lead the way by suppressing the enemy and use squad-based tactics to win the fight. With its real-world locations and painstakingly recreated weapons, equipment and uniforms, all rendered in the stunning CryEngine, Vanguard challenges players to fight and secure historic objectives during the most intense battle of modern history, D-Day. We wanted to create a squad-based FPS that is fun, but poses the real threat that a single bullet can end your life. Our main game mode, Raid, immerses players into the intensity of infantry combat where every single life matters. Hold the line with your squad by taking up ambush positions and fighting off the attackers, or assault the objective by advancing as a team, suppressing the enemy and wiping out all of the defenders. Players should stick together as a well-disciplined squad, which will be the crucial factor in this small-scale, individual squad-based mode. Raid provides an intense and frantic experience that requires teamwork and tactics to be successful. We wanted to deliver a hardcore tactical combat experience that allows players to get immersed in the setting with a back-to-basics, gun-on-gun approach to gameplay. There isn't class creation here or any expansive progression systems. We're instead focusing on the interplay between squads and the tactical decisions chosen in each historical scenario. We all have a passionate interest in the historical events of the Second World War, and we believe it's important to keep these events of the past in the memory of all. Gaming provides a powerful and interactive way of doing so. We've been inspired by the gritty, historical nature of Red Orchestra, the hardcore gunplay of Insurgency, and intimate, squad-based teamwork of old-school Rainbow Six games in creating this historical and tactical mode. Raid has been designed to put the player in the boots of an infantry soldier who values their own life, to allow players to instantly experience a slice of intense infantry combat in a real historic setting, without having to run around a large map trying to find the action. Every member of the Vanguard development team joined because of the desire to play a historically accurate, tactical, team-based multiplayer game that is accessible and fun to play. Yes, we do believe those features can coexist. We have been working on the project in its current form since 2015, developing this game solely in our free time. We are dedicated to the project and have invested ourselves into its development. We have come a long way over the years and the project has become ingrained into many of our lives and the people who surround us. Much like our close-knit development style, we set out to embed that mentality into our game to create an enjoyable experience that requires teamwork and communication. Your Kickstarter support will allow us to release on Steam Early Access. The unavoidable launch costs will make up the basis of our funding goal, and your backing will cover these costs, including launch servers, middleware and anti-cheat support. It might be tempting to promise the Earth with ambitious funding goals, but we want to be open and honest with the community and our backers. We've been doing a lot with a little for a long time, and this won't change. What will change, however, is the speed of development and how soon we will reach our early access milestone by accessing skill sets and infrastructure we've always struggled to fill. Our stretch goals have been carefully designed in such a way that allows us to speed up development of these features without damaging the core development schedule, and to begin production on carefully selected additional elements for the game. We are asking for your generous support, something which we've never done before, to pay for launch servers, cover licensing costs, and polish the game ready for launch. If Vanguard is a game you would like to support, please follow us and join our community on Twitter, Facebook, Discord, and our forums. You can also find us on our website at vanguardworldwar2.com. Thank you.
achieved with CryEngine. The Waylanders brings to life the legends of the once flourishing Celtic cultures. With six main classes, 30 advanced classes, and over 800 skills, you have many ways to create your hero. Added to this are the varied animation sets for Celtic and medieval characters and vibrant combat formations. The Waylanders will let you experience an adventure never told in a video game before. The story begins 2,500 years ago, in the medieval Celtic period. But to talk about the story, it's better you're told by our script team. Hi, Mike. Hi, Fernando. Are you ready to talk about the story now? I am, but you mentioned our script team, and aren't we missing someone? Yeah, but we cannot talk about him at this moment. There is something about the contract. Maybe later. Okay, well, maybe we can keep it as a surprise, and then people will be pleasantly surprised because we're dealing with one of the best. Yeah, but to talk about the story to the Kickstarter community, you're the best. So, could you? Yeah, I'd be happy to. Waylanders is inspired by the Celtic mythological cycle. It's a time of great warriors and uneasy alliances with the fantastical creatures of the world. Waylanders is a tactical RPG with pause and play mechanics that takes place in two different periods of time in the same area of Brigantia. As a party leader, you'll be moving between these periods of time and working with two distinct parties as you struggle to save your world. Most exciting, this team is bringing stories of their homeland and of their ancestors to the RPG space. Stories that I was completely unfamiliar with until I started working on this project. And it's an honor to work with them to bring something so unique to this genre of gaming and to you. Para la creación del universo de Wellanders, nos hemos basado en la Galicia real para crear nuestra propia Galicia mítica. Eh, por ejemplo, en la época celta, el asentamiento principal será Brigantia con la Torre de Hércules, mientras que en la época medieval será Santiago con su foco central en la catedral. Aparte de estas localizaciones, tenemos otras como Ézaro, Las Médulas o las Islas de Ons, que nos proporcionan mucha diversidad a nuestro mundo. But the Galatians are dealing with the, the, the Celtic and Celtic history, um, and that presents a story that hasn't been told before outside of that history. Uh, scholars know it, but gamers don't. And I think that's a huge opportunity because they're going to see something new and fresh with new creatures, new races, and of course some new kind of historical periods that don't often get explored in fantasy role-playing. Para las razas de Waylanders nos hemos basado en mitología gallega, tanto para las razas generales como para las del editor de personajes. Por ejemplo, en estas últimas destacan aparte de los humanos, los fomoris, los licántropos o los mouris. We've been looking pretty deeply into how the characters will interact and we very much want to explore the idea of romantic interest between the party members and the player character. Uh, we think it's a, a huge part of role playing is to bring, you know, not just emotions like fear and anger and revenge, but also to explore the idea of love and see how that plays out across the story that takes thousands of years to complete. Well, I don't want to detail too many of the important choices. I'm pretty sure the team would uh, be a little upset if I spoiled their key stuff. But I will say we've been looking very deeply to make sure that there are some significant moments that will change major outcomes for the game. And one of the interesting elements that we have to play with is the idea that we're moving through time, time periods. There are two different elements of the game, and we can see some of the choices you make in the earlier time period reflect in the later. Companions are going to probably be the most affected people when it comes to time travel. They are essentially a mix. One group of them are the Celts, who are mortal and are going to go through a bit of a rude awakening as they rediscover themselves and what's happened to them in the modern period. But there are also characters who are immortal, and those characters have been alive through all the changes that have occurred in the thousand-year period between the Celtic and the medieval. The main innovation of the Wildlanders are the combat formations. We can fuse our characters, all the team, or only a group of them, to create a new combined and powerful character to use in the game. Right now, we can show three examples. The Phalanx, the Arrow, and the Orb. You find an arrow path in the mountain. You can use your formation to block it 
and then use a software to attack from behind with full protection. Another one could be to use the Phalanx and the Commander's Battalion. The Commander is one of the advanced classes of the Ranger. To do a pincer movement, trapping the enemies in the middle. Using the tactical pause, we can combine the use of different formations during the combat, taking advantage of their possibilities. We'll have two different formations for every basic class, so we'll have 12 different formations during the game. Our intention is to offer the players a very deep combination of tactics to let them choose their own way to play the game. We are very confident in the power of the community to help us build a project like the Waylanders. Even though we could finish the game and make the launch in 2020, we want to make the game bigger. We want to make the game better. We want to translate it into more languages. And overall, we want the feedback from the community to make it happen.